Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. I'm just sitting here in my truck, I was thinking about the channel, thinking about you, thinking about the viewers, and I thought instead of just trying to answer all of the questions, which I'll continue to do as the comments come up and as I see them and can engage with them, I will, and the direct messages and the emails. I love chatting with all of you. And my apologies if I miss something. It's going to happen. It, it is hard to keep up, to be honest. But I felt it'd be easier just to get in front of the camera, just talk about some things that were on my mind, talk a little bit about the channel, where it is, where I want it to get to, all the fun that we can have along the way. So let's go. First of all, I just wanted to say thank you for all of the support. About three years ago, I started this channel. Really, it's just my automotive type hobbies and the things that I'm into, you know, sharing them with you, trying to be somewhat educational. Now, as you followed me on this journey at the time of this video, we're at about 17,000 subscribers, which, you know, blows my mind. Um, so again, thank you for the support. And my goal is to see if we can hit 20,000 before the end of this year, being 2022. And today is September 9th. So maybe you can help with that if you're a first time viewer. I also want to apologize for the pain and anguish for those that have been here since the beginning, or maybe you just saw a video more recently that maybe I produced, you know, in the first year or two. I need to apologize for some of the music choices. Royalty free music isn't always the best. Um, there's a lot more, you know, that's available that's getting better. Um, the volume levels, you know, just playing with that is uh, tricky. I do all my own editing. Uh, my daughters and my wife help with some of the filming. Sometimes I'm hand holding a camera. Sometimes they're, you know, giving you a different perspective through holding a phone or a camera. So I appreciate them. So thank you to them because I hope they watch my videos. Um, but really, you know, it's about evolving and it's about, you know, understanding what I can do better and what my limitations are. So let's talk a little bit about some of that stuff. So as you may already know, this channel is automotive themed and I try to have a certain element of education, not in every video, but just in a number of my videos. So if I was to think about everything that's all encompassed uh, in my channel and I do try to categorize them so it's easier for you to engage with the material that you want, but we have automotive technology, we have a BMW M4 performance car. We have a boat. We have a camper. I've done winterizing projects on them just to teach you some of the steps if you have to go through a winterizing process. Uh, we got a number of trucks. We got a 56 Chevy Cameo. I haven't shown that one too much because I just really haven't needed to do anything to it recently, but it'll, it'll appear, trust me. We have a brand new Cadillac Escalade. We had one before that. I shared a lot with what was going on with that one. I have my GMC AT4, which I'm sitting in right now, my 2021 GMC Sierra. And I uh, love this truck, probably the best pickup truck that I've owned, and I've had several. I also have my vlogs, which I find entertaining. And I think if you've gotten to know the person I am a little bit through the personality that may come through on my videos, I try to be as genuine as possible. What you see is what you get. I'm a tremendously sarcastic person, but I'm compassionate. I don't have ill will towards anybody. I respect, you know, all builds and things that people are doing to their cars. And I can just appreciate the, you know, the, the love or passion that they have for what they do. So no hate for me. Um, I am a human though. So sometimes I can get rubbed the wrong way and maybe come across wrong. And, you know, it's not intentional, um, but again, uh, I'm human like the rest of you. Now back to the automotive tech. A lot of times I am demonstrating or reviewing products or samples that have been sent my way. Um, not always technology, but even maybe wrap materials, tint films, you know, things like that. I, I hope you understand that I need to engage with those things because they help the channel grow. They help people make informed decisions on you know, whether they want to get something or not get something. The 965 things I've done to my GMC Sierra, I don't expect everybody to do or copy me, but if they can learn on what might work for them or what might not work for them and just have a better idea or outlook on how to approach, you know, that type of modification, then great mission accomplished. I'm here to give information, share what I've done, share what I've done wrong. Maybe I've done right, what I like, what I maybe don't love. 
and you make an informed decision for yourself. So if that's the type of content that you want, when it comes to when I'm looking at, you know, products or, or services and that type of thing, then you're in the right place. Um, I'm not going to compromise my values. Um, I want to be as genuine as possible. On that note, today's video is sponsored by Let's Get Checked. Did you know that recent studies have shown that testosterone levels have been dropping about 1% per year since the 80s? Think about that for a second. If your father was 30 years old when you were born, that means that your testosterone levels could be a third lower than his was at the same age. I'll be transparent with you. I exercise, I work out, I eat pretty clean. I try to stay in shape. I try to lead a healthy lifestyle, but your testosterone levels do drop over time. Low testosterone can impact lots of aspects of your life. I don't want to be too loud here, but low testosterone can impact men's mood, muscle mass, memory, and even sex drive. It is true, low testosterone does impact people usually the older that they are, but it can still impact all men. So let's tell you more about today's sponsor. Let's get checked. First thing you do is order a testing kit. It's going to arrive in discrete packaging. Now you just supply your sample, send it away, it's that easy. Once they receive it, within two to five days, you'll be provided with secure online results. Your results are reviewed by a professional clinician. They are a member of the Let's Get Checked nursing team, and they may even call you to talk about your results. As a worldwide leader in home health testing, they've made male hormone testing and sample collection easier than ever. Let's Get Checked Laboratories comes with the highest levels of accreditation. They are CLIA accredited as well as CAP accredited. So if you're curious and you want to get your testosterone levels checked, please visit trylgc.com slash Don's Life. Use the promo code Don's Life. Save yourself 25% on a kit today. I'll also leave this information in the video description below. Let's get back to the video. Now let's talk about playlists for a little. So again, I categorize different things on my channel so you can choose to kind of follow what interests you and kind of stay tied to that. And I respect your choice. That's no problem. And now I do receive criticism. I get way more positive reinforcement than anything. I'm not here for the positive reinforcement or the criticism. I know you can't really get one without the other when it comes to social media, especially YouTube. Um, I only cry a little bit depending on what the uh, criticisms are. But in all seriousness, you know, I think you need to know a little bit about who I am to understand, you know, maybe where I'm coming from on some of these projects. So some people ask me what I do for a living. Uh, I'll say this. I've been working since I was 14, um, probably about 20 hours a week, all through going through, you know, school, high school, graduating. And I've never been unemployed. Um, I've done everything from working in restaurants, washing dishes. I've done... I've done construction, oil field construction on my class one driver's license in the province of Alberta anyway. I've, uh, you know, worked retail. I work a corporate job now, which is my main uh, source of income to take care of myself and my family. And we also own a small renovation business. And I also do YouTube uh, as a hobby. Now I do spend a lot more on my automotive passions and hobbies than what I receive back. And that's fine, I'm not complaining. This isn't a complaint video. It's just really to give you a little bit of context in who you're seeing when I'm making you these videos. But I want you to know I'm genuine. I don't play a character. I can understand why people play characters because it probably gets the views, but I don't know if that's sustainable. So I'd rather you just know who I am genuinely as a person providing you content than putting on a show. Now, sometimes I might be in a better mood or have more energy. Uh, in a video versus another, and that might come through the camera. But at the end of the day, it's just Dawn, it's still me. Now in my 40s, I'm a little more comfortable. I still take financial risks. I, I do that on purpose because it keeps me ambitious, it keeps me going. So I've always got like a side hustle or something on the go. I'm always looking for opportunity, um, but my family does come first. So judge me if you like, but I am very happy and uh, secure with the way I'm living my life and appreciate all the support. I'd love it if everyone liked, shared, and subscribed to the channel, ultimately, um, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm going to continue to make the videos regardless of the popularity that they may receive, and I'm going to try to continue to bring you content on average at least once a week. Sometimes it goes up a little, sometimes it comes down. Again, I do film videos, especially the vlogs, where there's going to be cross-reference material, not all the time, but often. Here's a good example. I'm going on my first car rally ever. I don't know what to expect. I 
pretty much don't know anybody on this rally except one other person and we're not going to be in the car with them. So just my wife and I are going to go and we're going to meet some new people and have some adventures driving to Las Vegas and back. So that could be good. And it's not just going to be about the interior of the car that I'm driving in. So you might want to check that out as an example. Now I'm going to stop ranting. Again, I appreciate all of you, the channels and evolution. I'll continue to try and make my editing better, my music levels better, the equipment that I use make it better just to give you a better experience. But sometimes it's just going to be to the point and less about the theatrics. And I think a big part of that is about being genuine. So if you want to keep up with an average relatable guy, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time.